iodium from allen's keynotes iodine the element persons of a scrofulous diathesis with dark or black hair and eyes a low cachectic condition with profound debility and great emaciation great weakness and loss of breath on going upstairs during the menses ravenous hunger eats freely and well it loses flesh all the time empty sen- eructations from morning to night as if every particle of food was turned into air suffers from hunger must eat every few hours anxious and worried if he does not eat feels ameliorate while eating or after eating when stomach is full aching low down in the lungs behind the sternum causing cough exchange through bronchi to nasal cavity hypertrophy and induration of glandular tissue thyroid mammy ovaries testes uterus prostate or other glands breast may dwindle and become flabby hard goiter in dark haired persons feels better after eating palpitation worse from least exertion sensation as if the heart was squeezed together as if grasped with iron band leukorrhea acrid corrosive staining and corroding the linen most abundant at times of menses cancerous degeneration of the cervix cutting pains in abdomen and hemorrhage at every stool constipation with ineffectual urging ameliorate by drinking cold milk crop membranous pores dry cough worse in warm wet weather with wheezing and sobbing respiration child grasp the larynx face pale and cold especially in fleshy children relations complementary to lycopodium compare acetic acid bromium conine calibi spongia in membranous crop and croupy affections especially in overgrown boys with scrofulous diathesis follows well after hepar mercury is followed by kali by in crop acts based in goiter when given after full moon or when the moon is waning should not be given during lying in period except in high potencies herring aggravation warmth wrapping up the head iodum from boric materia medica iodine rapid metabolism loss of flesh with great appetite hungry with much thirst better after eating great debility the slightest effort induces perspiration iodum individual is exceedingly thin dark complexioned with enlarged lymphatic glands has voracious appetite but gets thin tubercular type all glandular structures respiratory organs circulatory system are specially affected die atrophy iodine arouses the defensive apparatus of the system by assembling the clear leukocytes whose phagocytic action is marked at a given point lead poisoning tremor iodine craves cold air acute exacerbation of chronic inflammation arthritis deformants acts prominently on connective tissue the plague goiter abnormal vasoconstriction capillary congestion followed by edema ecchymosis hemorrhages and nutritive disturbances are the pathological conditions at the basis of its symptomatology sluggish vital reaction hence chronicity in many of its aspects acute catar of all mucous membranes rapid emaciation not withstanding good appetite and glandular atrophy call for this remedy in numerous lasting diseases and in scrofulous patients acute affections of the respiratory organs pneumonia rapid extension iodine is warm and warms cool surroundings weakness and loss of breath going upstairs 
adenoid vegetations tincture internally and locally to swollen glands and rattlesnake bites mind anxiety when quiet present anxiety and depression no reference to the future sudden impulse to run and do violence forgetful must be busy fear of people shuns everyone melancholy suicidal tendency head throbbing rush of blood and feeling of a tight band vertigo worse from stooping worse in warm room chronic congestive headache of old people eyes violent like cremation pain in eyes pupil dilated constant motion of eyeballs acute dacryocystitis snows sneezing sudden violent influenza dry coryza becomes fluent in open air also a fluent hot coryza with general heat of skin pain and root of nose and frontal sinus nose stopped up tendency to ulceration loss of smell acute nasal engorgement associated with high blood pressure mouth gums loose and bleed easily foul ulcers and salivation profuse fitted chylism tongue thickly coated offensive odor from mouth throat larynx feels constricted eustachian deafness thyroid enlarged goiter with sensation of constriction swollen submaxillary glands uvula swollen stomach throbbing at pit of stomach ravenous hunger and much thirst empty irritations as if every particle of food were turned into gas anxious and worried if he does not eat losses flesh yet hungry and eating well abdomen liver and spleen sore and enlarged jaundice mesenteric glands enlarged pancreatic disease cutting pain in abdomen stool hemorrhage at every stool diarrhea wettish frothy fatty constipation with ineffectual urging better by drinking cold milk constipation alternating with diarrhea urine frequent and copious dark yellow green thick acrid with cuticle on surface male testicles swollen and indurated hydrocele loss of sexual power with atrophied testes female great weakness during menses menstruation irregular uterine hemorrhage overitis wedge like pain from ovary to uterus dwindling of mammary glands nodosities in skin of mammy acrid leukorrhea thick slimy corroding the lining wedge like pain in the right ovarian region respiratory hoarse raw and tickling feeling provoking a dry cough pain in larynx laryngitis with painful roughness worse during cough child grabs throat when coughing right sided pneumonia with high temperature difficult expansion of chest blood streaked sputum internal dry heat external coldness violent heart action pneumonia hepatization spreads rapidly with persistent high temperature absence of pain in spite of great involvement worse warmth craves cool air crop in scrofulous children with dark hair and eyes inspiration difficult dry morning cough from tickling in larynx propy cough with difficult respiration wheezy cold extends downwards from head to throat and bronchi great weakness about chest palpitation from least exertion pleuritic effusion tickling all over chest iodum cough is worse indoors in warm wet weather and when lying on back heart heart feels squeezed myocarditis painful compression around heart feels as if squeezed by an iron band followed by great weakness and faintness palpitation from least exertion tachycardia 
extremities joints inflamed and painful pain in bones at night white swelling gonorrheal rheumatism rheumatism of nape and upper extremities cold hands and feet acrid sweat of feet pulsation in large arterial trunks rheumatic pains nightly pains in joints constrictive sensations skin hot dry yellow and withered glands enlarged nodosities anasarca of cardiac disease fever flushes of heat all over body marked fever restlessness red cheeks apathetic profuse sweat modalities worse when quiet in warm room right side better walking about in open air relationship antidotes hepar sulfur gratiola complementary to lycopodium badiaga compare bromium hepar mercury phosphorus abrotanum natremur sanincula tuberculinum dose the crude drug in saturated solution may be required third to 30th potency endurated solution of potassium iodide expel step forms dead locally the most powerful least harmful and easily managed microbicide ideal agent to keep wounds clean and disinfected bites of insects reptiles gunshot wounds and compound fractures excellent great skin disinfectant